I all greetings this is dr gopal reddy and our today topic is liquid crystals liquid crystals uh, what is mean of liquid crystals either crystals be a liquid or they are different so let us let me give introduction about liquid crystal science if you come to the matter matter is any substance that can occupy space and has mass so if you come to the uh, different states of matter they'll be classified into the solids liquids and gases then the fourth phase is plasma if it is come to the, the, the these three uh, phases that is solids liquids and gases in solids all the atoms are closely packed and uh, intermolecular force of attraction is i and those will be uh, uh, having positional order in three dimensional and there is no flow of atoms but if it is come to the liquids liquid there is no positional order there will be a slight flow of the atoms will be there when come to the gases there will be the atoms are randomly oriented in a different directions and it does not contain any shape <coughs> then the liquid crystals which can be lie in between in the properties that of solids and liquids that mean liquid crystals may be defined as the distinct state of matter in which degrees of molecular hardening that is positional and orientation order is lies between ordered anisotropy of that of the crystalline state and uh, completely disorder aniso isotropic uh, liquid uh, state that mean liquid crystals which are lying in the properties as that of the solids and the uh, liquids <coughs> then if you come to the states of matter the solids solids will be having positional order in three dimensional and no flow of atoms and liquids there is no positional order as well they can absorb the flow of liquids and gases gases are randomly oriented and if it is come to the liquid crystals there what i given n that is called as a director director plays very significant role in the liquid crystals the molecules possess orientational order <coughs> that is the molecule tend to remain in a particular direction the direction of preferred orientation of molecules in a liquid crystalline phase is called as a director i am repeating again the direction of a preferred orientation of molecules in a liquid crystalline phase is called as director which can represent the direction of the atoms which are present in the crystalline uh, liquid crystals since molecules are in constant motion they spend more time pointing along the director than any other direction hence the extent of uh, orientational order can be described by taking average angle theta made by different molecules with the director that mean so in the liquid crystals they the atoms can be uh, moving at or like what they can be a slight flow will be there so then what happen but most of the uh, atoms will lie in a particular direction for long time so that so with respect to that we can me measure the director then so this is the cholesterol benzoate it is the uh, best known example for the liquid crystalline so this liquid uh, crystal of uh, cholesterol benzoate which will be depends upon the temperature that is below 145 degree celsius the compound will be remains a solid and above 170.8 uh, 0.5 degree the compound will be remains becomes to the liquid in between this will be exhibit as a liquid crystalline property so in this uh, image in, uh, in this in the slide you see see now here first one it is out of completely solid so that is below 145 degrees celsius and uh, now if you see this this is a completely liquid so this is above 178.5 degrees celsius and now you see this cloudy liquid that is called as liquid crystals the liquid crystals will be having the property uh, between those of the solids as well as the liquids then so this is a uh, uh, important uh, uh, aspect that is isotropic or anisotropy see now here liquids crystals comes under uh, now having anisotropic in nature and uh, liquids or gases so they will be having isotropic uh, property so <coughs> 
the anis isotropic and anisotropy is majorly depends upon the so the property of exhibiting uh, of the liquid crystal with that of the light <coughs> liquid crystals exhibit optical anisotropy that mean they possess different optical properties when light is instant in a different direction so i'm repeating again liquid crystals exhibit optical anisotropy that mean they possess different optical properties when light is instant in a different direction and liquids however exhibit optical isotropy that is they exhibit same optical property irrespective of direction of the instant light so this is one of the advantage of the liquid crystals where so those will be exhibiting anisotropy that is anisotropic means so <coughs> they will be having so same uh, 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 they won't be having same property in all direction but liquids and gases will be having uniform properties in all directions so uh, this is the one, one of the unique property of the liquid crystal that mean that can be depends upon temperature pressure and electrical field that is uh, we can discuss this in later like later slides that is example if you take the uh, temperature so we will be having separate class of uh, liquid crystals called as uh, thermo setting uh, thermo setting uh, 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 no, liquid crystals so thermotropic liquid crystals and even electrical field which will be affected with the electrical field so that can be used in uh, uh, all uh, <coughs> electrical devices so which will be uh, playing very significant role nowadays and of course the pressure also liquid crystals if you come to the classification of liquid crystals liquid crystals are majorly classified into the thermotropic liquid crystals and uh, lyotropic liquid crystals thermotropic liquid crystals again classified into the nematic cholestric and uh, smectic liquid crystals thermotropic uh, liquid crystals thermotropic liquid crystals are the class of compounds that exhibit crystalline behavior or vary uh, no, based on the variation of temperature alone are called as so thermotropic liquid crystals thermotropic liquid crystals are varying its property so as we vary the temperature hence it is called as thermotropic uh, liquid crystals <coughs> In that, if it come to the first type, that is called as nematic liquid crystals. The liquid crystalline phase is made up of optically inactive rod-like molecules. The nematic uh, liquid crystals they'll be having uh, so rod-like are also called as nematic means the Greek word. So it is means thread. So they'll be having the property like what a thread, like rod, rod-like. So optically inactive so molecules. In this phase, molecules have no layered structure. That means, so they will be having only uh, one uh, thread or rod like structure. They won't be having layer by layer so liquid crystals. So, the molecules in nematic phase possess intermolecular forces such as they are parallel to one another, and hence nematic phases are characterized by total loss of positional order. So, their behavior, so their behavior their behavior is close to anisotropic liquid phase when nematic phase is absorbed in polarized light the molecule appeared to be has thread like uh, texture so uh, that's why we call it as nematic because nematic means in greek so that is means of what a so thread like structure then cholesteric so cholesteric uh, uh, liquid crystals are the type of uh, thermotropic uh, uh, liquid crystals they are formed from the optically active compounds having chiral or twisted center that means so optically active means what the compound should be possess at least one chiral compound so chiral uh, center will be there asymmetric center will be there that mean that carbon it should be contain at least four different uh, groups to it okay so in this mesopause all the molecules stay parallel to one another and arrange themselves at different angles with respect to adjacent groups 
<coughs> this mu surface of the director rotates throughout this uh, sample forming helical pattern as it changes just like nut screw on a bolt so that will be having a uh, uh, twisted palm helical helix structure that i show in the next next slide so that should be so having what a twisted palm that is called as cholesteric uh, uh, liquid crystals and these are playing very good you know uh, significant role in the preparation of either sensors that what we can say or a thermal sensor or thermometers and uh, display devices etc see see now here cholesteric uh, phase there is a orientational order no positional order but direct uh, director is in a helical order so see here in the left hand side uh, 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 structure we can find the pitch pitch means it is a 360 uh, full turn so that is the, dist the distance covered by the director as it completes one full turn that is called as 30 360 degree is called as pitch of the liquid crystal the pitch length of a cholesteric varies sensitively with the temperature pressure impurities electrical field the most striking feature of cholesteric mesopause is strong optical activity and selective reflection which are attributed to the twisted structure then come to the uh, last type that is called as uh, smetic uh, liquid crystals smetic liquid crystals again classified into the smetic a smetic b smetic c also <coughs> smetic phase molecules are sigur uh, shaped molecule and are arranged in a layers sigur that is the means of length 1 by 1 1 by 1 sigur shaped uh, uh, molecules in this mesophase the molecules possess small amount of positional order and orientation order the molecules tend to point along the director to arrange themselves in a layer it can be imagined like more number of molecules are positioned in regularly spaced layers so there are these molecules arranged by layer by layer layer by layer and we can classify smetic a smetic c so depends upon the so director and the second uh, important type that is called as uh, lyotropic uh, lyotropic liquid crystals lyotropic liquid crystals are obtained by mixing two components that is organic solids compounds that is called as ampipilic and polar solvents i am repeating again liquid crystals that are obtained by mixing of the two components one is organic solid compounds called as ampipilic and that of the polar solvent the lyotropic mesophase are uh, concentration and solvent dependent ampipilic compounds are characterized to distinct moieties a hydrophilic polar head and hydrophobic tile that can form missile in the like soap action against to the dirt examples of these kind of molecules so and various uh, phospho phospholipids are like uh, those present in the cell membrane and uh, this is a most important uh, property of the liquid crystal that will be using what a many display function see this is light which is depends upon the <coughs> so field what we are applying electrical field in the first uh, things you are shown uh, you can imagine that light is transmitted but in the second uh, picture you can be see that light is uh, uh, blocked so this nowadays you can be used as a uh, electrical field so open uh, like bathrooms what we can use so if you switch on the light that will be light will be like what uh, this uh, blocked but when you put on the up top the light that can be become a transparent so here so the liquid crystals can be rotate that mean that uh, molecule based on the temperature or on the pressure so that can push the first side you can be rotate the molecule but as a direction finally it allowing what uh, liquid crystals that is getting transmitted whereas in the second uh, thing it is not allowing the light it is getting what a uh, blocked when field is on on see now this is some images what i explained in the previous slide in the light is off it will be like what a getting blocked but light is on it is at a open so and many thing it will be switchable windows you can see this uh, three uh, windows are there in the right hand side so in the two windows it is uh, uh, transparent but in the middle one is at a opaque so it depends upon the type of liquid crystals or the electrical field what we are using here and uh, <coughs> this is the main 
so merits of uh, like what uh, advantage of liquid crystals we yeah, can use as a thermal sensor thermal sensor means if you are use what uh, so uh, palm you are using and putting what uh, their uh, palm thing based on the the temperature of the body which can be sensing the uh, that uh, liquid crystals and we can also represent their uh, spectrum uh, by taking uh, observance of such wavelength we can getting different uh, uh peaks lambda max with the uh, varying uh, different uh, temperatures liquid crystals are not new we can see in that in the nature that is butterflies are exhibiting different colors and varying uh, colors without a uh, in a few seconds that is uh, the wings of the butterflies so this all wings of the butterflies are generally made up made up with that made up with what liquid crystals and the fingers the fingers we are using but the fingers uh, sorry uh, sorry rings finger rings so those rings will be varying the colors uh, depends upon the temperature outside so this is the same thing the ring we can use but it will keep on varying the as temperature uh, varies and now what i'm showing showing to you that is an extra ordinary idea so we don't want don't no, unable to have many cars with us so that we can have one color uh, vehicle a uh, car with us and but we can be sure that uh, we will be having different colors of water collections see now here car will be coated with a liquid a type of liquid crystals that can be shown uh, when kind of color in the morning and uh, that in the afternoon and in the evening the same color uh, same car by varying the temperature morning afternoon and evening the colors are keep varying so these are all the applications of liquid crystals thank you very much